Hey everybody, I am enjoying the beautiful outdoors that is my backyard, which is the golf course and the Ruby down here too. All right, never could be a better time in the history of America probably to really see distorted thinking in action and to see it taking hold uh, of many people. Um, it's when there's a consistent pattern of the distorted thinking that we start to really worry and it can cause problems. I mean, we're, I'm going to kind of blow through these 15 <clears throat> again <clears throat> so you can start. I don't have COVID, I hope. I don't think I do, but I'm wearing a mask. Um, I'm going to blow through these so that you can look in the news and all around you really and and see what a cognitive behavioral therapist is looking for which would be the these distortions and if they uh, become patterns of thinking and the person is using these distortions more and more that's when we worry about a personality disorder developing which just like branches on a tree uh, when you've formed a habit or an addiction it becomes an addiction it's because that branch is really strong. It's a very strong neural pathway. So all your all your neurons have connected up. Those are the nerve cells. And it's really strong in your brain and, and you can't trim, trim branches off your brain. That's why you have to really work at making other habits that are stronger. So let's see if you have any of these distortions and see who you can think of that you might know who has these distortions. And we don't go around and go, Eh, you got distorted thinking. No. When you see these in yourself or you see these in someone else, just realize this is this is normal. It's normal to have these little blips. It's normal for us, us to resort to being negative. It's a survival mechanism. You know, the worried, anxious people, maybe the more reactive people back in the day of our ancestors, they survived. They didn't hesitate. They chopped off the head of the intruder or whatever. So we've got a lot of that in our neurobiology. So don't get down on yourself if you have some of these distortions and don't go smacking someone down who, who uh, might have them too. When someone's in these, we want to help them because they're, they're struggling a little bit. So all or nothing thinking, do we know anybody like that? I mean, this is like, you know, all Republicans are bad or all Democrats are bad. I'm having trouble staying out of this one right now. Um, Overgeneralizing. So this is like, uh, you've seen one looter that's black. So all the looters are black uh, and you generalize. Uh, mental filter. Uh, this is where we just focus on one negative thing and we exclude all the positive stuff. Um, I see a lot of that going on right now. There is a lot of positive stuff happening. When have we ever had a, a, a women running for president, ever? When might we have a female vice president, ever, in the history of America? So there's a lot of really, really shitty bad stuff happening. I'm not denying that, it's really bad. But uh, there are still gonna be some positive things that come out of it. So you don't want to get into just uh, focusing on the negative. You also don't want to disqualify the positive. So this is where you reject compliments. You know, somebody says, oh, you're looking great. Yeah. You go, oh, no, 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 I don't know. Take it in, say thanks. That's, that's good for you, it's good for the person um, complimenting. It's always awkward when you give someone a compliment, they're all go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, jumping to conclusions, mind reading. This is when you think you know what someone else is thinking. Uh, so unless you're a mind reader, knock it off. Um, wait to see, find out, do investigation. Help me understand, friend, how are you feeling? Help me understand, friend, what you're thinking. Okay, jumping to conclusions, fortune telling. So this is where we're gonna make conclusions and predictions based on little or no evidence and hold them as the gospel truth. Just because, there's no reason. There's no scientific method or, or statistics or facts behind it. 
how is that going to work for you? All right. Then we've got emotional reasoning. So this is where we're like, well, I feel all, I feel this, so it has to be true. You have a feeling, not a thought. Thoughts and feelings are two different things. Thinking are, is, is what your mind concocts. It's the sentences that come out of your brain. Feelings are what generate inside your body. An anxiety, um, despair, joy, um, frustration. Those are feelings. Uh, I cover that, I think, in the second chapter. You want to get used to identifying your feelings and your thoughts. Should statements. Oh my gosh, how often do we say these? I say them all the time. Don't beat yourself up, but catch them. When we're saying should, we're judging. Because we're saying we know what you should be doing. And that's putting us up here and everybody else down here doesn't feel good. So, also, uh, shoulds, should, 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 should just are not in reality. Uh, should it be this way? Should it be that way? Sure. Should, should a woman be able to walk around at night and feel safe? Sure. Slide me on for that. But that is not how it is. And what is the likelihood of it becoming that way? This is how I think through things. So if it's, if it's, if it's not a reality, if it's just my dream of how the world should be, I need to focus back up and start dealing with what's really in front of me. Okay? That's why I'm all about protecting yourself. Personalization. So this is where you think you're so powerful you can control what other people think and feel. It's also codependency because codependency's big problem is we actually think in our distorted thinking that we are powerful enough to make this person happy or make this person shape up. You know, we can we can we can educate them enough and motivate them enough and just be good enough, they'll do it. So, no. There's a saying in AA that uh, describes the distorted thinking that comes with some alcoholism, and it's uh, "I'm the most important piece of shit the world revolves around." I think that's brilliant. Uh, control fallacies. I'm the pesky fly. Dude, I'm trying not to kill you. Uh, one is that we don't have any control, and the other is that we have all the control. And we realize that it's it's right in the middle. And often, we don't get the choices we want. We get, would you like one shit sandwich or two? Uh, but there's still choices. So it's always good to get into, what are my choices? What are the solutions? Fallacy of fairness. Is this a fair world? No, that's not how it works. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that all the fairy tales taught you that. It was wrong. It is not fair. And it's and everybody will feel it's not fair. A uh, fallacy of change. That would be if I pressure or encourage someone enough, they'll teach them enough, you know, they'll they'll get it. Uh, and I can't be happy without that other person understanding it. Uh, so they have to get fixed and if they get fixed I'll be happy I get a lot of clients come in and they want me to fix their partner we have no control over that so uh, when you're codependent you want to start learning to set boundaries take care of yourself because that's what this is, is you're trying to control other people uh, so that you can feel happy and safe uh, instead take an internal locus of control which gives you all the power. So people aren't gonna wear masks, I'm gonna wear a mask. Um, you know, I'm not gonna be safe outside at night being a woman, well, I'm gonna carry a collapsible baton or some mace. That's an internal locus of control versus the external where you're just relying helplessly on everybody else to conform to what, what's rolling around up there. That's, I don't know, the odds aren't good with that. Uh, always being right. So, 
I've been in so many battles on Facebook with, with these types of people and I know that it's mirroring back to me. My need to be right. And that's why they annoy me. Uh, there's something for me to heal. Heaven's reward fallacy. Okay, sorry. It's, might might be good, might be that, that you end up somewhere good, it might not, no one knows. No one, no one really knows the answer to that one. And just because you're a good person, it doesn't mean good things are gonna happen to you. Uh, all right, boy, we crank through that. All right, questions, I would love to hear questions. Please like and share and notice the distortions going on so that you can go, oh, all right, well, there's some distorted information. Let me move on to something else that'll be helpful, hopefully, to you during this time. All right, stay safe, everybody. We'll talk about trust coming up.